got it. Hey guys, this is Baker of Cross Timbers by, so welcome back. Me and the wife are tearing down this old black security netting. I think that's what it's called. It got off of Amazon, but uh, it lasted about a year. I don't even know if you call it lasted. This, uh, but it did a good job for us. But I've got some rubber now, rubber belting. It's, I don't know, maybe three feet wide. And I've seen a lot of places that I've traveled to and stuff that use it and that's what I'm going to use is rubber belting from a conveyor belt and we're going to line the inside of the working corral <clears throat> where it gets kind of gets tough and where that we narrow them down we're going to uh, put up have to put up two sheets or two conveyor belts um, so we can get our depth that we want uh, in here and when the bison are in here it helps keep everything within and so that they're not trying to get out left and right we want them to go forward and straight and also when they bounce off the pins and whatnot they'll be able to just bounce off the rubber instead of this stuff or they'll be able to um you know bounce off of it instead of the metal so we're taking all of this down and going to replace it with the conveyor belting yeah that's what we're doing So we took off that private fence mesh. So this is the original part of the corral. I raised this up and welded it to make it a little bit higher. So um, we're going to come back with the rubber. We'll have to put two sheets of it because it's only like three feet wide. We'll have to do that conveyor belt here and that conveyor belt down below. So that they'll bounce off of it instead of this metal and it keeps their vision straight and not left and right. I wanted to run through it. And last year, the past two times we used it, I think it worked really well. They were actually weren't in here very long because they eventually come into this area. Come into here. Got, got some work to do. Got our work cut out for us. I'll have to go get more at some point.
All right, Marissa and I got the first one on. We didn't want you guys to see a struggle that bad getting started. So and now we'll show you since we got it down, we're professionals at this now. But we pre-drilled our holes and put our zip ties on here. These are some heavy duty zip ties. I think if anything will go bad, obviously zip ties will not last forever. What we can do is come back through here with some baling wire or any type of wire like that. Barbed wire, you can pull barbed wire apart and use it too because those uh, wires are really thick, but we've got the first layer on the next one. We're gonna come right here and come down And it's actually gonna flap over a little bit. So we've Got a ways to go We got the first section done. I think this rubber, it's been coiled up in a roll whenever I got it from these guys, but I think it'll flap down once the heat gets to it and weather gets to it. It should flap down over time and lay up against it. If not, we can always drill some holes and squeeze it up a little bit tighter, but I think over time it should loosen up a little bit and come up against it. So. You got it. Keep going? Yeah, stretch it out. That's probably good. We can do the rest. That old silica sand. This came from a sand plant. That's the old silica. All right, we're back out here. It's been another day. We're putting up all this conveyor belt here in our, it's kind of a big alleyway. It's a little bigger than you really want, but like I said before in one of my last videos, this is a, this is part of the old dairy barn. This part here, I went and raised it up some, another foot, just for heights for a bison. But we got a lot going on today. Kevin's out here with us. Um, Guys, if you guys don't know who Kevin is, Kevin is my stepdad, and he is the guy who actually lives on the property and spends a lot of time with my bison. And whenever Marissa and I aren't around, Kevin is helping out a ton. Uh, him and my mom help out, but uh, Kevin mostly does a lot of uh, the bison work for me and keeps an eye on them. So lucky them, they actually live here and can see them. So. Kevin's uh, finishing up some welding on our tub, tub, sort of smaller alley, whatever you want to call it. But Marissa and I just finished putting up some of our conveyor belt. It's about three feet or so, maybe a little bit short. It's a three ply. It's a, it's a little thicker than I wanted, but, and the reason why is it's good. It's great, but it is heavy to work with. It is very heavy. And uh, so this is the first part I had showed you before. We finished this. I think we're gonna net one of my new, uh, what we're gonna do is net the new six foot fence I put up right here. Um, and we are just a little bit short right here of some rubber. So um, we're a little bit short where it looks like we're about 12 feet short on our conveyor belt rubber right here. So gotta go get some more of that and uh, cover up another corner bison love corners when you work them so if you can avoid corners that's why a lot of places have curves and in the future um, if I could read if I could start over again we'd do more curves which is what that is right there that's um, this over here is part of our tub ish area and they come around here and it curves into our actually handle facility um, but this stuff is awesome I kind of want to tell you what we did and how we put it on.
trying to do? Oh, it's just flip it up. Well, this is where it has to go. What's easier? Once you, if you stand it up. If you stand it up. There it goes. Are we going all the way to the top? Here, We're going all the way to the top. Okay. Come this way. All right. Too small for that yeah. pipe? Hold on, what do we need to... Okay, hold this right here. I got it. Where do you place that? Okay, go your way, Dusty. Alright, we get it? Yeah. Let's go down a little bit. So one of the things that we did is Marissa was going through and she would drill the holes about every two feet or so and then she would go back, put the zip ties in, have them already ready and then the toughest part was moving this stuff around and pulling it and stretching it and then holding it up there as well. So um, so Marissa would already go ahead and put the zip ties in there. Yes, the zip ties will probably have to be replaced at some point in the future and you can get something a little stronger, but the zip ties do a good job. One of the other things that we did is we used self-tapping screws. They're about an inch long. And what we did was we went back where the top rubber conveyor belting didn't lay down flat against the bottom layer kevin and marissa went through and screwed some of those self-tap screws back through that rubber and uh, so it would lay flat against it get out of here you're always in the way well that'll do it for today we've got <clears throat> most of our conveyor belt hung like i said just have a little bit left but Guys, we're getting closer and closer to working our bikes. And like I said before, this is uh, will be the biggest herd what we've had to work here at this farm. So uh, we got 27 total. That'll take place in early November. And then we'll get some videos out for you guys. As always, you know, it gets exciting whenever we work bison. And uh, it's always a show. But hopefully this work right here this extra work we've been putting in with this rubber conveyor belt. Kevin and I did some welding on our tub or part of our alley system. We still have some work to do, but we've got this thing tough and durable now. Uh, Big Joe proof, hopefully no issues whenever we work the bison. So hopefully everything goes well. Um, just wanna thank Kevin. It's nice to have my wife out here helping too as well. It's, uh, it's fun to have Marissa out here and work with her, and uh, she likes to get outside. She works, um, her job is inside, so she doesn't have the luxury of being outside like I do all the time. So it's nice for her to come out here and help my, my mom and my sister are watching, watching baby Brooks. So, um, but hope you guys learned a little bit of how we hang this up and why we do it. One of the reasons why we do it is because it's a blackout. Some people don't do this with their bison, um, but one is we, we like the blackout feature of not letting them see any light through here um, as they're getting worked. We want that sort of tunnel vision so that they, it can run through. We want them to force. It's always a continuous path is, is one, one, one of the reasons that we like this blackout. I had a security fence netting up and it was great. You just have to take it down because the weather just destroys it another thing about it is in here it can get kind of pushed comes to shove in here and so if the bison do get a little rambunctious and they do bounce off of each other and hit each other and it gets kind of physical they're going to hit this right here and it's solid because there's pipe behind it so that's another thing and they'll bounce off this they're not slamming directly into the bars or the steel they're bouncing off that rubber and they're not getting their horns caught and uh, they're not getting busted up. It keeps them a lot safer. Even though we're working them and they're stressed out, um, it reduces the stress level too as well, which is something that we like. 
we try to reduce that stress level uh, and it just keeps them safe and it keeps us safe as well thank you guys for watching us thank you for following us along and uh just stay with us here at cross timbers bison as we're always constantly trying to work and make things better safer for us and safer for the bison so we can work them successfully here at this farm twice a year thank you guys for watching us